do you live in Pennsylvania and want to know if you are going to be able to experience the total solar eclipse that's coming up on April 8th, 2024? Well, I'm Professor Capco, and I'm going to tell you in this video. But first, I want to say that I believe something amazing is going to happen for you very soon. So be on the lookout for it. And now back to the video. As you probably have heard that there is going to be a total solar eclipse happening in the United States on April 8th. 2024. That is Monday, April 8th, 2024. And if you live in Pennsylvania, you may be wondering if you're going to be able to see it. Well, I've got the answer for you in today's video. The question will be most important is where in Pennsylvania will you be? Let me zoom in on this map of Pennsylvania. As you can see, there's various gradations throughout the state as to how much of the sun will be covered. Of course, the moon is covering the sun, causing the eclipse, and we are going to be in the moon's shadow on Monday, April 8th. And depending on where you are in Pennsylvania, will determine how much of the sun is covered by the moon. The further northwest you get, the more of the sun will be covered by the moon. And Obviously, the further to the southeast you are, the less of the sun is going to be covered by the moon. The good news is there is a small portion of Pennsylvania that will receive the total eclipse. And that is this portion right up here. So if you don't live up there, you may want to travel up there to see it because it's going to be simply amazing. Um, I have never been to a total solar eclipse before, and I know personally people who have, and they've told me how amazing it is. And therefore, I plan to travel there and get some video for all of you. I did a video earlier on preparation for the eclipse. And if you haven't seen that video, I have it linked up here in the right-hand corner. You can just click on that and check it out after you watch this video. All right, as I said, there is a portion, a very small portion of Pennsylvania that will receive the total eclipse. The totality for that portion will start at 3.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time and will end at 3.20 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So if you were up there during that time period and assuming the weather cooperates, you will get to see the totality, the, the sun completely covering the covered by the moon. But I do want to say, we're, regardless of where you are in the state, if you get any portion of the eclipse, you need to be wearing eye protection because the sun is going to be as bright as it normally is. So therefore, you need to protect your eyes. Your sunglasses will not do it. And don't just point your smartphone at it, the eclipse because it will ruin the sensor on your smartphone, likely. So you need to get eye protection. I've linked some down below in the description. Plus, um, if you have the proper device, it will also list some in right on the screen that you can order, but you need to order right away because if you want to get it by Monday, you've got to order it right away. It may not get there in time otherwise. So you need to have protection. If you don't have solar eclipse glasses and make sure you get the approved ones, then you might want to consider making a pinhole um, viewer, something along those lines. So those are some other options. And I might make some videos on that. If you're interested in that, put it down in the comments. All right, so back to the map. Let's look at the timing of some additional viewing opportunities. So there's going to be partial eclipses um, viewed for the rest of the state. And let's look at some of the times and amounts for it. So if you are in Allentown, 91.47% um, of the sun will be obscured. So that's a quite a large 
obscuration rate. So it's almost a complete eclipse, but it's not exactly the same. It will not be 100%. If you want 100%, check out Erie. Erie will get 100% of the eclipse, and that's from 2.02 p.m. to 3.18 p.m. is the total amount of the eclipse um, until the max, and then it will end at 4.30 p.m., and that's all Eastern Daylight Time. Harrisburg will receive 92.22%, so a little bit more than Allentown, but not as much as Erie. And remember, almost a total eclipse is not quite the same. There's going to be a big difference between that and the total eclipse. Philadelphia, if you're in Philadelphia, you'll get 88.61% of the sun being obscured. So that's quite a lot, but again, not quite the same. It's probably going to be worth it to travel to where you will get the total eclipse. Pittsburgh is going to get 97.35%. Scranton, 94.69%. And the Ormister Township gets 89.48%. So this is just some of the select towns giving you the times and the amount. I'm going to link this website. This is from time and date. Dot com, and I'll link that in the description below so you can check this out in more detail. If you live in Pennsylvania, definitely check out the eclipse on Monday. And if you know somebody lives in Pennsylvania, please share this video with them so they'll know what to look out for. I'd love for you to support this channel if you can. Uh, some of the best ways to do it is there's some merch down below. You can support it by purchasing some of that or becoming a member. I'd love for you to become a member. If you hit the join button, it will tell you some of the options for membership. Members get to see advanced copies of the videos. They get to see the videos first. Also, they get priority in getting their questions answered. I do all kinds of different things on this channel, including launch videos. I do some educational stuff for business courses, such as accounting, business law. So if that stuff interests you, take a look at that. I also just do some stuff just for interest uh, that are just interesting, travel and things along those lines. So check it out. Consider becoming a member to support this channel. If nothing else, I'd love to have you subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.